number five. Our first game is a nostalgic trip back to the Mike Tyson punch out days. Bear Knuckle Sandwich is a 2D fighting game with side-scrolling exploration and a character-driven narrative. You follow the story of a young, directionless guy named Gunner, who joins an underground bear knuckle boxing ring. Every opponent has a unique fighting style and their own tricks. Fight your way up the ladder and make a name for yourself among the best fighters in the city. Number 4 this one was hidden away on Twitter and looked like an interesting concept, a game about climbing. There isn't a whole heck of a lot being showcased yet, but they recently showed off the first world biome of the game. The concept art looks sick, and if they're able to execute on making an open world climbing exploration game, that'd be pretty cool. They also have some test videos and a nice video showing Gato's animation blend space setup. But wait a minute, that's my Gato Sky plugin. That's pretty cool. Anyway, you can stay tuned for more on Twitter. Number three. Garlic Builder is a building game where you take on the role of the new builder of the garlic family. Take your family's hammer, complete orders, follow various blueprints, or use your imagination to create amazing structures. The goal here is to collect various material blocks and use them to complete orders from your many customers. Garlic Builder definitely falls into the relaxing, casual genre, and with cute little anthropomorphic garlic and over 40 block types to use, it sounds like a good time to relax and build. You can check out the recent demo on Steam. Number two. Number two is another Gato game in development that has been popping up on my feed. Memorial Wanderer features a really interesting 2D and 3D art style combination. First, it's great to see how great the 2D and 3D lighting works together in the engine, and from what I can gather, there will be plenty of mob fighting with a collection of skills the user can utilize. The game is very much in early development, and they've been posting their progress on Twitter. So in the meantime, we'll definitely keep this one on our radar. And before we get to our number one spot, congrats to last week's winner, Gloomgrave, earning a place in our 2023 Gato Project of the Year tournament. And don't forget to vote for your favorite in the comments below. And number one. Legendary Creatures 2 is the sequel to Legend Creatures. You may not have heard of either game, but they are apparently extremely popular in China, gaining multiple game awards. The newest entry is a combination roguelite and auto battler. You recruit and evolve your troops, creatures, and an arsenal of weapons to defeat the Demon Lord. The maps are built from randomly generated hex grids, which I love, and at its core is a deep strategic battle system where you have lots of flexibility in your combat approach. The game also features a strong support for community modding, made easy by the Gato engine, so users can add their own skills, weapons, and enemies. Check it out on Steam.